Welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to show you the disassembly process of the 280 ampere hour and tell you why eco-worthy batteries are safe and reliable. Preparation before disassembly. Before removing the battery make sure you are in a well-ventilated area. Then, check the battery for any visible damage if the battery is swollen or leaking do not proceed with the removal. We're going to use a multimeter to check the battery status. The multimeter currently shows that the battery's voltage is 13.70 volt. Start the battery disassembly. Now we can see the battery terminals here, and this is the battery. Then we open the battery cover. Internal structure of the battery. This is the inside of our battery here we have the terminal plate, battery cells, protection board, power wires, and voltage sensing wires used to measure the voltage all these wires are insulated, and there are also clamps. The internal wiring of the battery consists of high temperature soft silicone cables. The insulation layer can withstand temperatures up to 200 degrees Celsius without deforming. Additionally, the wiring is covered with a yellow wax tube for further protection against damage from sharp objects. On both sides of the battery cells, there are two 2mm thick metal end plates we use 16M4 stainless steel screws to secure them, which evenly distributes pressure and significantly increases the overall strength of the structure. This is EVA foam, which helps reduce vibrations to the battery cells during transport, ensuring safety. Some might wonder why the BMS is placed on the side of the battery instead of on top like with other batteries. The reason is that positioning it on the right side helps keep heat and other elements away from the battery, providing more space for the cells to dissipate heat. BMS Mounted on the right side of the battery is the battery control unit, which is protected by a 1.5mm thick metal frame the metal's properties also help with heat dissipation. Once we remove the metal frame, we can see a 250A BMS inside. Its job is to protect the battery from overcharging, overdischarging, charge over current, discharge over current, short circuits, cell voltage self-balance, and high temperature discharges. Battery Cell The cells are connected by 2mm thick, 40mm wide aluminum strips, which can handle currents of over 250 ampere. The 280 ampere hour battery is made up of four 3.2 volt 280 ampere hour cells connected in series, and 0.3 millimeter thick cellulose paper is used as insulation between the cells. The product uses only grade as cells compared to lower grade cells, these offer higher capacity, better efficiency, longer lifespan, greater safety, and often meet higher environmental standards. Metal Fixture Earlier, we mentioned that the battery cells have 2 mm thick metal end plates on their side so why do we need fixtures as well? Besides helping with heat dissipation due to their steel material, the fixtures also prevent cell expansion. Without using fixtures, the cells might experience irreversible swelling. Different states of charge SOC lead to varying degrees of swelling, and this deformation is permanent swollen cells can cause the safety valve to fail, potentially leading to safety hazards. Installing fixtures on the cells can prevent a situation where the battery's lifespan is reduced by 30% due to cell swelling. Additionally, lithium battery fixtures effectively protect the battery during storage and transportation by guarding against vibrations, leaks, and impacts, significantly enhancing safety and stability during transit. That wraps up our battery disassembly. Thank you for watching.